This is Akube Doromo. The day Mr. Doromo was illegally locked up March 30th, 2007, and released on November 20th, 2011. The trial ends on March 29th, 2007. The defense counsel Rita Pendry told Akube Doromo on March 30th, 2007, will be the day he is going to call to hear the declaration of mistrial because the prosecutor committed perjury. Akube Doromo went to court and was asked to wait outside before being called because they won't send the case to petty jury. In 10 minutes, Akube Doromo saw juries taken to lunch. Another 10 minutes later, some, come, some came back and Mr. Doromo was called in and told that the jury found him guilty and locked up for 51 months without sentence. Before he fought uh, okay, locked up for 51 months without being sentenced before he fought his way out. Judge Imad personally says there wasn't anything really in the Red Book or the Federal Practice Book. Mr. Austin, the government prosecutor, says, quote, I will get the court and the defense counsel something Probably right after the lunch break, I will be able to get something. Judge Imad, when he heard that, he came with a more offer. According to him, quote, what about the national origin? Sometimes I give that. Do you want me to give that or not? At that time, the government prosecutor was quiet, but I think he shake his head which of course sign a signal of acceptance. Judge Imad come with a judgment of, of course, taking of money that being robbed, or money that being intercepted, or the robbery that committed by government to be given to the government. That money belong to Akube Doromo and his company, the Voice of Social Concern. The money is one million, eight hundred fifty six thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars and seventy one cents according to him which represents the sum of money equal to the total amount of money constituting or derived from gross proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of health care fraud scam and in violation of Title 18 United States Code Section 1347 and which represent the sum of money equal to the amount of money involved in money laundering in violation of Title 18 United States Code Section 1957 signed by Judge Imad G. Salvan. This, this case is in Appeals Code number this is, your, this is cycle of course, appeal number 115327, Washington DC cycle. The deputy chief of the health care of the health care Patricia Square cleared Mr. Doromo from health care fraud. Also government expert witness employed with all working at US Justice Department in Washington DC cleared Mr. Doromo from false statement, wire fraud, and money laundry. Judge Imad G. Sullivan gets his judgment from the corruption and the bribe that was given to him. So please, I am asking please, this case is filed to Department of Justice Civil Rights Division. U.S. can't afford judge like Imad D. Salvan in bench helping government corruption and locking Americans up because of the national background, not because of the crime, and because he was being bribed 
not because the law says that. The public must get involved to stop judicial corruption in Washington, D.C. federal courts and the federal and the D.C. circuit. And I thank you, the public, and I'm looking forward for your support to us to stop the corruption that is going on in Washington, D.C. judiciary system. Thank you.